Good morning everybody, it's JP here from Noob Gaming and today we will be continuing with Wilson Lords of Mayhem. We defeated, in part 8 we defeated the Act 2 boss, we're going to finish up Act 2 today and start with Chapter 3 or Act 3. And then we'll take it from there. You made it back. Tell me you have some good news. I got the first piece of the Hellion. Impressive. I told you. As long as one of us is left standing, hope remains. Now, you've secured a chance to stop Fury's ascent. We almost died back there. Val, how do you feel? Mm. I'm getting better, thanks to their witchcraft. Unfortunately, resting isn't an option. We have to join my brother's garrison at the Vault of Truth, where the second half of the Hellion awaits. Once it's whole again, they will march with us on the Republican fortress of Crimson Keep. You're quick to speak of war for a man that was recently wounded. We ascended are gifted with imbued resilience. So I hear. Still, it will take more than us alone to make our way to the ritual. How do you even know the conflux of energies is inside the Crimson Keep? When my order first saw the signs of Fury's ascent, we studied them, and it led us there. You were part of the Brotherhood operation that attacked it. We didn't attack it. We wanted to approach the strange structure in its center that Republicans call the monolith and study the signs of Fury's ascent to stop the ritual before it even began. However, when we arrived, the monolith activated. Demonic spawns of fury started appearing, pacifying Republican and Brotherhood soldiers alike and sending them against those that resisted. I managed to escape due to my abilities, but Crimson Keep fell to the pacification soon after, now protecting the ritual place and Araman's coming. Crimson Keep. We used to hear rumors about it, about this strange monolith too. It's a remote fortress in the Northern Barrens known as the Red Wastes. Yes? Yeah, it checks out. This fortress is known even amongst Republicans for its secrecy. I'm not surprised that they were using it to quarantine this monolith. Well, we know what we have to do. Hand me the piece of the Hellion and get ready to depart. The road ahead won't be pleasant.
We have to journey north, all the way north. There, the Hellion shall be made whole again. My brethren, the army of truth seekers will join forces with us. We shall march to stop Fury's ascent. One final push that will determine the fate of mankind. some rest. We won't find rest down there. What are they waiting for out in the open? And if that does not give you pause, then the yellow smoke should. What is it? Some kind of signal? It means that their halls have been reached. We will take a different path. We built a network of caves among the vault's foundations when hostilities with the Republic were at their peak. Fallback shrines in case something went wrong. We should find one of these nearby. This shrine is occupied. Who goes there? Identify yourself! Stand aside, boy. Where is your commander? Near... near the campfire. You think we did the right thing? Abandoning our brethren right on. Is that you? Gendris, you made it, brother. Are you the ranking officer? I was, but you are now. What happened up there? Several weeks ago, a demonic spawn of a new kind of revealed itself. It introduced itself as Sinatra, herald of the blind prince. My brethren tried to banish it, but they didn't even have to fight back, which has changed them. They seemingly lost the will to fight, becoming thrall to its will. Soon, most of us fell to its magic. Your pacification. What is that? A fury's ascent. As Araman's summoning approaches, the cult of the blind prince gets stronger and bolder. Sanadrahel leads the first of waves of legions to come. Lady Mercy. We have to warn what's left of our armies and... and what? Fuel Araman's ranks further? There is not time for that. We act now. What's in your mind? What's the inner sanctum, priest? No. I sealed it myself before leading those I could convince down there. Good. We'll assemble the Hellion and use its power to stop Araman's conjuring. You can't mean it. Oh, trust me. 
I do. What does that mean? You haven't told them, have you? No wonder they agree to this. What will happen if we use the Hellion? Ganez? Anathea. The Lady of Dawn herself created the Hellion by imbuing part of herself into it. She gave it to our ancestors so that we would have a weapon to summon her powers, to defend mankind with everything else that they This weapon only ever served once, several centuries ago. While it fulfilled its function and brought victory, something else happened that we could not anticipate. Its use broke something. We still do not know why it happened to this day, but conjuring Anathea's powers for just a few seconds opened an abyssal rift far to the north, easing the passing of demonic entities from the abyss into this world. In saving themselves, they put at risk all future generations, realizing that the price to pay was too big. Our ancestors broke the Hellion in half and hid its pieces in two vaults forbidding its reconstruction. It's too risky, Ganez. Only a madman would wield such power. I don't care much for that mumbo-jumbo. The way I see it, the pacification has already started. Republicans have fallen to it in Crimson Keep, and now your precious vault is already turned. And Araman isn't even here. We hardly have the luxury to play it safe. Ganez, you should have told us. But she's right. One man has a plan, the other has doubts. I go with the plan. This is blasphemous. We will do what must be done, brother. We will stop Ariman, with or without your help. I... I don't know. We can't take that decision. The stakes are too high. We cannot wait for them to make up their mind. I will prepare a prayer to shield my men and Valeria against the pacification for the battle to come. Meanwhile, you move into the vault and get the Hellion second piece. Wait, won't I be passive? You're an ascended. Act like one. You will resist it, and you will prevail. Now, go. Attune yourself to the Searing Song's altar at the end of each of the vault's wings, and unseal the inner sanctum. There you shall find what we seek. Good luck, brother. find that fault. magic echoing through this hall. The cult of the blind prince.
can't be done. I can't do that right now. I need more power.
can't do that right now. I feel the power coursing through me.
Quality on this one is unmatched. You know, Mojave is always the best. Make it easy. I have other customers. engraving on this one. It's intact, even after so many years.
themselves up in the inner sanctum to protect it, but got pacified nonetheless. I should be glad that no entities... Disappointment has just begun. Oh, is that so? I attuned to her lights. As long as I stand, the inner sanctum will answer me. You need not to fall, only to turn. Give me your wrath, all of it. <laughs> only peace shall remain. You will be an even better slave. And the one you call Father. No! No. Obey, slave! I thought I remember the sent his best. Yet here you are. A mirror. You can't defeat me. Do not worry. The demons of fury will ineluctably pour from the abyss once the blind prince is here. Until then, our allies shall make short work of you. Alzara, Lafay, join me. No, Alzara. We take that one together. This Demon Slayer is not to be trifled with. <laughs> now we feast. When the darkness is pulling you down, you don't know how to move on. When music is the only thing that keeps you alive, and you know that the time will come. We are feeling so unstoppable, dangerous, our comforts are protecting people with a tone, with a tone. We just want to save this world. You really thought my ego mattered in the least. If you had accepted my gift, you wouldn't have had to kill your own kind. Their doom is your doing. You only bring death. 
death and misery in your wake. You're a raging disease that we, if you had accepted my gift, you wouldn't have had to kill your own kind. Mortals killing mortals for war, greed, envy. You will end it all soon. Until then, slaughter each other. Gernes, I did my part. Here's the second piece. It's on you to make something out of it. The power of the Searing Song at once command. Let the Hellion fulfill its function once again. Anathea, may your light break Fury's ascent. So much power is contained within. A glimpse of her energy. Good. We have the way. We were supposed to have an army of truth seekers at our back to clear the way to the monolith. How are we going to get through the thick walls of Crimson Keep with so few left? Why are you were gathering the second piece? We've been busy trying to find a way in. We will turn chaos to our advantage. As we speak, the third Purifier's Legion is laying siege to Crimson Keep to try to regain control of it from the pacified troops inside. Republicans of the Senate against Republicans of Aranan. In time, the Senate will lose the whole league. And worse than that, they will all end up passing by. And yet, the mayhem they cause is a blessing, keeping our common enemy busy while we make our way in. Wait a minute. Do you plan to have us cross Republican siege lines before even reaching Crimson Key? Correct. It is the only way to seize the momentum that the purifiers are unknowingly building. The Daybreakers will move with me to strike the Republican lines first. They will send troops to stop us, but we will storm through to get to the Crimson Keep's main gate. Meanwhile, you should meet less resistance as you go your own way through the trenches. Reach the Keep's warp using the Valeria will join you. It cannot hurt to have Fury on your side, too. Oh, and, uh, thank you. Thank you for everything. Daybreakers, we march to war! One with the lights! One with the lights! Nothing will stand in my way.
Hi everybody. Okay. This is where we will be calling it quits today. I have to get to work. But thanks for watching. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. Or follow on Twitch and subscribe on my YouTube channel. I really do appreciate it. And we'll see you again tomorrow.